That's why if you look at, I think there's a study showing, you look at Cristiano Ronaldo's follows and then look at Nike, Nike can't compete because people are interested That's in people, the not brands. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Truth Life Podcast. I'm your host, Tyron Johnson, and we're still in our financial literacy uh, season. You know, the last episode was more about the mentality of financial literacy, and today we're going to kind of piggyback off of that. Not so much mentality, but something that you can use to grow your wealth. You can use it to grow your wealth, or you can use it to lose your wealth. Um, Social media. Social media is this new phenomenon that has come around within the last 20 years, and we really used this medium to talk to people around the world. You know, the thing about social media is that social media is a representation of who you are, your core values, your core beliefs. When people see your social media, they start to form an idea of who you are as a person. So you should portray, you should put out to the world who you truly are. You shouldn't fake it. You shouldn't live a different life on social media than you do in real life. Because now you'll be sending mixed signals. And these signals can actually give people the wrong impression of you. So, for example, I'm not a gangster. I'm not nowhere near a street guy. So if I'm portraying these traits on social media, that could be taken so wrong. A team could see me and be like, this guy is a guy that we're not trying to sign. Teams are not running around trying to sign street guys, just being honest with you. And then the street guys can see me in the street and think that I'm about that life when I'm really not about that life. So faking it till you make it is one of the most retarded statements I've ever heard in my life. Retarded is, I don't know if that's a word, but that statement never made sense to me. I always believed in just making it, you know? So, um, yeah, so, um, I kind of jot down 10 ways that you can use social media to build your wealth, to to grow your brand, to get your overall attention, get it out to the world in a, in a, in a beautiful light to where as you can, you know, prosper from it. The first thing I would say is post your highlights. Me, I'm an athlete, so posting my highlights, teams can get interested in me by seeing highlights seeing my highlights on YouTube, seeing me scoring, passing, defending, doing whatever I want to do, showing myself in a good light, showing myself the highest moments of what I'm doing at my job. So if you got a normal job or a nine to five job, it's the same thing. If you love your job, if you want to go far in your job, if you really passionate about what you do, create content around it. You know, let people see what you're doing and how good you are at it because people want to hire you. You know, you can make more money from this. I've, I've known guys that have gotten signed because of their social media um, interaction. Guys putting out so much content, they're interesting. And not to mention, everybody's searching for attention. You don't know what type of team is searching for attention. You could be a terrible player, but if you got two, 300,000 followers on social media, you can bring a ton of attention to that club. That club could then get sponsors because the attention is there. So use all of these social media mediums like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Use all of those things because it's all important. I mean, what you got to lose? You got nothing to lose. You're posting on there anyway. You, we're on these sites anyway. It's free. It's free marketing. Post your highlights, man. Show the best version of yourself. Show what you do well. Show why people are cheering your name, right? Engage with your fans. Number two, engage with your fans. Um, your fans are huge. Your community, it's huge. People are interested in you and who you are as a human. So don't give people automated responses. Don't... Um, just see comments and not respond, respond to these people. Do you know how much it will make a person's day when they see their favorite player giving them a shout out? When they see their favorite player respond to them, sending them a video message, hey man, thanks, appreciate everything that you do, appreciate your support, that'll go a long way. You're giving back 
without giving any money, without giving any time, really. You own this social media platform. Use it. Be social. You know, you're not. Most of us are not Jay-Z. Most of us are not Beyonce. Well, we got 50,000 comments, bro. You might have 10, 15 comments. You can respond to those people, and that's a stretch. Respond to your fans. Respond to your, the people that's on your page. Everybody that's interested in your social media, respond to them. You guys figure it out. You guys work together. You know, you guys are working together to build your brand, your fans. When people see the conversations in your comments, that's good for you. One is good for the algorithm. You're going to start popping up on people's feed. Um, all kind of ways, man. Engage with your fans. Do not, do not just sit up there and just watch people comment. And you are like, no, nah, I'm not going to comment because I'm such and such. Stop it. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> Show your lifestyle. Number three, show your lifestyle. Show what you're doing in your off time. Show your hobbies. Show what you're interested into. Show what you like to talk about. Show everything about your lifestyle. You know, don't be giving people your address. Don't be showing people, basically giving people the blueprint of your home because you, there's a lot of weird people out there. And human beings are dishonest people and you know, we always look for an advantage in life. So you never know who's tracking you down, who's looking at your morning routine, who's looking to see where you're running at, who's looking to see where you live at, where you park at, what time you come home. You got to be careful out there in these streets because there's a lot of weird people. But show the things that you're into, show the things that you want to talk about. So when people do leave a comment, you're interested in responding to it, you know, but you're more than just an athlete. You're more than just a nine to five worker. You're more than just a trainer. You're more than just an engineer. You're more than just an entrepreneur. You might be a dad. You might be a brother. You might be a sister, cousin. Show that side of you too, because people are interested in you outside of what you do. That's just the reality of the situation. People like to know who the person is, not who the business is. That's why if you look at I think there's a study showing you look at Cristiano Ronaldo's follows and then look at Nike. Nike can't compete because people are interested in people, not brands. And number four, share what you believe in. You know, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of people that are very religious. If you are a very religious person and you want the world to live that type of way, share that. You know, if you're into um, crypto or something like that, share that. If you're into training and becoming the best version of the that version of, of person that you are, share that. Share everything that you believe in so that when a person sees you, they know what time it is. One of the greatest things I love about the way I've been perceived and the way I've been approached by humans in the last four or five years is People don't talk to me about bullshit. When people talk to me, they talk to me about real things. Um, they, they, they're looking for real answers or they're looking for a real opinion. And I think it's because of the way I carry myself and the things that I talk about. I'm not a judge. I don't judge people. Um, I don't talk much. If you ask for my opinion, I'll give you my opinion. But for the most part, I'm just a person that's just taking in all this information and seeing what's going on. And I might leave my two cents every now and then, but I share what I believe in all the time. What I believe in is family. I believe in two parent households. I believe or, or more. I'm not against poly. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe in love. I believe in respect. I believe in discipline. I believe in toughness. I believe in competing. So I share these things. I believe in confidence, things like skincare. Um, <laughs> I share these things, man, because I think it's important that people have the conversation. You never know who you can inspire. You know, a lot of us are missing fathers. A lot of us are missing uncles and aunties and mothers. And you never know who need that information. So I feel like it's one way you could do some good and gain a fan along the way by sharing what you believe in. 
Number five is stay consistent, man. Stay consistent. Post something every day. Every day you're going to be doing something. If you're just sitting on the couch, post that. If you're just watching TV all day, post that, whatever you're watching. If you're arguing about sports, if you think Stephen Curry is better than Kevin Durant, post that. That's actually a good conversation starter. But just post, post, post so that you can have conversations being started on your page. Because like I said, social media is to be social. It's not to be Look at me. Hey, look at me. I got a Lamborghini. I got a Rolls Royce. I got a new condo. That's not what social media was meant for. It wasn't meant for the flex. It was meant to be social. You can flex on there, but that's normally whenever you have arrived. If you're trying to arrive, you have to be social. You have to engage. You have to engage. So you got to be consistent, man. If you say you're going to do something every Monday, do something every Monday. If you say you're going to go live on Sundays, go live on Sundays. If you say you're going to put out some type of pack or you're going to give some type of gift or something like that, do the gift, man. Don't promise your fans something and then renege whenever it's time to get it done. Number six, this is one that I don't understand why I even have to say this, but don't incriminate yourself on social media. If you're a professional basketball player, don't post yourself smoking weed. I'm going to say this again. If you're a professional basketball player, do not post yourself smoking weed. I'm not against weed. I'm not for weed. What I'm saying is that the rule today states that if you have marijuana in your system, they can suspend you for a year and a half, maybe, I think. Why are you going to risk a year of a salary, possibly be looked at in a different light for the rest of your career when you've worked your entire life to get to where you're at for some marijuana? Bro, you can smoke all summer long, every day, chief it up. Get high to the sky. But during the season, I just don't see why would you risk that. I don't understand guys risking that. And listen, teams don't test you. The, the, the league tests you. But these teams know, especially if you're not playing well, these teams can see your lips, bro. We can see your lips. You got white shit all in the side of your lips. Gums are turning black. Fingernails is dirty. Like we can see a, a, a guy that's abusing weed because that's the problem. You guys are abusing weed. Using weed is not a problem, but abusing weed? I don't understand it, man. It, it, I don't understand it, but posting guns, why would you post guns on social media? I never understood why would you get in front of a camera, point the gun to the camera and be like, yeah, what up? I'm out here. I'm from Louisiana. That's how we talk. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it, man. It does nothing for you. It does nothing for you. You guys posting pictures with your middle fingers up. Who does that, man? We grown men. Who want to do business with a person that got his middle finger up? Hey, guys, this is my new partner. Who, that guy? The guy, yeah, the guy that's got his middle finger up. Hey, I want to sign this new player. Who, that guy with his, both his middle finger up? He looks like NBA young boy. Man, nobody's trying, nobody's trying to sign NBA young boy to play basketball. Even in your other jobs, man, it's like women are getting fired because of their OnlyFans account. Like, it's so much going on, man. The way that you portray yourself on social media, man, you got to understand when you get back into the real world, people are going to make judgment off of what they see. And I just, for the love of me, I don't understand why guys incriminate themselves on social media, especially guys that are trying to you know, move up in the world. You, you're looking for opportunity. You can't be doing nothing that's going to sabotage that. Don't incriminate yourself on social media, man. <sighs> that was like six and seven. So now we're going to go straight to eight. 
collaborate. Work with other people. Go on other people's pages. Get in other people's vlogs. Um, try to get sponsored. Um, try to get try to get in cahoots with people that's in the same field as you. You're a basketball player, try to work with other basketball players. You're a filmmaker, look for other filmmakers, etc. Once again, your content has to reflect who you are because a person want to collaborate with you so that it could be beneficial for both sides. Whenever it's beneficial for both sides, it's a good collab. But it's not going to be a good collab if only one person is benefiting. So that's why you got to post before. That's why you got to curate a timeline that's depicting who you are as a person, your core values and your core beliefs, because that way people will want to collab with you if you guys are similar. If you got, if he has some interest, if they have some interest in you, it's good to collab. Collabing has made me so much money making beats. Collabing has made me so much money photography and videography and I mean, every logo I design for companies, that's basically a collab. Um, the mixtape covers I do for rappers, I mean, that's I'm, I mean, it's higher, but it's really a collab because they're working with me to create this piece of art. So collabing, man, collab is, collab is where it's at. I'm telling you, that's where the money's at. That's how you grow. You get their fans. They get your fans. Everybody's working out. Really look into collabing with people. Number nine, make it easy to contact you. Put your links in your social media profiles. Um, put your, your your email somewhere. Make whenever a person see who you are, whenever a person is excited about seeing you as a entity, they got to be able to reach you. You know, you might miss them if they miss you in, in their DM. If they miss you in your DM, I'm sorry. If you miss them in your DM, this is a tongue twister. If you miss them in your DM, they should be able to have an email or a phone number that they can reach you at so that you guys can capitalize on this opportunity. Because a lot of people want to work with you, but they can't work with you if they don't know how to get in touch with you. And if you got a bunch of messages from everyday type of things, you're getting a bunch of messages from stories and stuff like that, you might miss an important message. So make sure that a person gets another form, another way to contact you because you don't want to lose somebody that want to work with you because they got lost in the shovel. So always have another way to get contact with. That's why I have my website, tyronjohnson.com. If you want to get in touch with me, everybody know you can go to my website. You can get in touch with me. I answer pretty much on Twitter, Instagram. I, I answer everything because I'm always looking for opportunities. So, there go. And number 10 is send them to your website. You should have a personal website. Every athlete should have a personal website. If you're working a nine to five and eventually want to start your own business some type of way, you should have a personal website. Just so people can get a feel for who you are exactly. And we never know. Instagram might go down. Facebook might go down. You have this own web space that you can control. Nobody can take this away from you. If there's a server going down, People want to get in touch with you, you want to advertise, you can always advertise on your website. That's your space. That's your Instagram. My whole goal is to get at least 2,000 people on my website daily, daily traffic to my website, at least 2,000 people. That's my goal for retirement, period. If I can get 2,000 people from my Instagram to constantly be involved and, and communicate with me on my website, that's the win for me. That's my goal in life. Is to get at least 2,000 people constantly, constantly working with me on my website because I don't want to be on social media. I actually hate social media. I do not like posting. I do not curate. I like curating content for people that's not even interested in what I'm talking about. I like my own community. I like like-minded people. I'm actually going, in the month of December, I'm going on an unfollowing spree. I'm unfollowing everybody. I'm unfriending everybody on Facebook. I'm doing everything because I don't want to see this. You know, every, every now and then I scroll, and whenever I scroll, I want to find inspiration. I want to see like-minded people. So I'm doing all I can to eventually get off of social media. But if you're going to be on social media, you might as well use it for marketing and advertisement. 
So if you guys got anything else, man, let me know. You know, I just felt like I had to make a podcast about this because I think a lot of people are missing a lot of opportunity with social media because they're not taking it serious and they're not treating it like a business. The same way you want to invest in things that you see is going up, you got to do the same thing for social media because this is the new world. This is how we're going to communicate going forward. You got new things coming out like metaverse and all of these things, man. The world is changing. Crypto is coming. You got to be prepared. You got to catch on with the wave. And you got some of the most talented players in the world, some of the most talented people that can't get jobs because somebody else promoted themselves better or somebody else was seen. Be the person that's seen. Be the per- person that's promoting yourself. All right, if you like this podcast, please let me know. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple Music, please subscribe to the podcast. Leave a review. Share this with your friends and families. Until next time, every day, make them pay so that one day you can live a truth life. And I'm out.